Hey everyone, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. Today we have a pretty cool watch strap to review, especially if you're a fan of watch collecting and baseball. This strap was very kindly sent into the channel for review by Rob over at the Strap Smith, so a big thanks to him. I have to admit, this was the first real look at Rob's work. I've reviewed some very interesting watch straps on the channel, and I think some of the most interesting are the ones made of materials that you don't commonly see. And Rob certainly has some very cool straps made from some very interesting materials. Everything from old cowboy boots, handbags, and vintage leather from military World War II equipment. I think it's cool to see old leather repurposed in this way. And as most of his work is custom, the buyer gets a lot of choice in how the straps are made and the stitching that's used. You can really get a custom measured strap, similar to a bespoke suit, I suppose. I was totally torn based on the amount of choice available about which one to choose for review. The ones made from designer materials are really interesting. These are made from 100% authentic Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and in this case, Rawlings material, but they're not officially affiliated or licensed by the respective companies. So eventually I decided on the baseball glove design Rob set to work making me one and it took about a week to make. This one has the Rawlings embroidered badge stitched onto the longer side of the strap. I debated if I should have this added as I was worried about the leather splitting around the patched area, but as you can see, it's firmly glued and stitched. I'm not sure how this will patina over time, however, in comparison to the leather. The overall quality of the strap is up there with some of the best I've reviewed. The stitching is straight and well spaced. I especially like how he's stitched around one of the printed parts of the glove. The sides of the strap are properly finished and show no signs of splitting or warping as the strap is bent. The edges are so well finished you can't see the visible transition between the upper leather and the lining and you can't feel the seam transition on the edge of the strap, indicating the upper leather has been properly thinned out before being fused with the leather that's used to line the back of the strap. As each of Rob's straps is custom and unique, I can't speak for all of the baseball straps, but this one is made from a very soft leather, meaning it has absolutely no break in time needed. The gloves being recycled has already been broken in, and the hundreds of thousands of gloves that are made each year, this is just an excellent way of recycling old ones, I think. The one I have here is a 22 millimeter version. There's other sizes available, but for me, I felt this type of strap, this gives the best ratio of strap to design. There's no taper, so you get the full visual of what the strap is made from. I showed it to a friend who is neither a watch geek like me, nor knows that these straps exist, but he guessed straight away what the strap was made of. On the wrist, the strap is very comfortable. Here you can see it on my Breitling B1. I think for this type of strap, you're gonna need a larger watch to pull it off, honestly, due to the visual appearance and the depth of the strap. It's more suited, I would say, to a pilot or a dive watch than maybe a dress watch. Clearly, a lot of thought has gone into selecting the right part of the glove to capture some of the best markings. Even the window around the label has been properly finished and sealed. Rob let me know that about 80% of the baseball glove ones he makes have this window in, so you can select your preference and also select the stitching you would like, maybe to match your favorite team's colors if Rob has it in. The straps are usually made from used gloves, mostly catcher's mitts. And if you have a glove that you love but have seen better days, Rob also allows customers to send in their own ones this may be a very fitting tribute to a mitt that was sitting lost in a wardrobe somewhere. I'm even more impressed seeing this strap in person. I imagine this will be a strap you wear, probably on special occasions as opposed to one that lives on the watch full time, because I'm not really sure how this type of leather will stand up over time and also the Rawlings badge, how that will patina separately from the leather. Rob also makes more traditional straps using heavier leathers as well. Well, there you go. You heard my thoughts, but more importantly, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. A big thanks to Rob at the Strapsmith 
The link is always in the description down below. As always, appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time on the Casual Watch Review channel. Thanks guys, bye.